Welcome back to Pocket Ants. So we've got a new creature detected nearby and I really need to sign in a little bit like once a day to really take advantage of those daily bonuses. But let's see, it looks like it's another kind of a tiger beetle and it appears that our bugs need to be updated. Now we're sending most of our guys out on gathering food because we've been going to war quite a bit. We'll have to disband them and, and link them to the new leaf. And while that's happening, we actually have to fight the reds because they are attacking my convoy, unfortunately. So ants, two arms, kill these red ants. Oh God, he's, we're playing Ring Around the Rosie yeah, as he's after me. Now we're gonna intercept this worker and this soldier. Those pesky red ants just don't know their place. You rebel ah! ant scum. Got well it. done, well done, well done, gentlemen. We have hopefully subdued the red ant threat, at least for a while, because we keep losing workers and I don't wanna spend the food nor have to do that. Plus I value our ants' lives. Now it's time to go get ourselves another tiger beetle because do we have any tier ones we could combine? Ah, uh, yeah, we do. See, I've got a tier one tiger beetle here that I want to attempt to fuse. Now, this would be the perfect time to attempt to lure in a new bug as it was just dusk for a brief moment. And these tiger beetles are super fast. Look at it. He's, he's running away. What do you mean you're running away? Oh! <laughs> Don't let him eat me. I'm the good guy. I'm the protagonist. So he's destroyed one of our little ants. He does his little retreating thing, which is one of the things that makes him pretty cool is that he's significantly faster and he seems to be pretty beefy in terms of health. We've lost three. Generally, when you're getting these bugs, you'll you'll lose three to four. So we're going to capture him. I've been capturing everything, essentially. Now, we did lose some. So one of the things I like to do is just put that on auto replace. And I want to see if it rains, if we can attract a new bug. See, because I've got the pheromones here. Oh my God, actually, we only have two. That's bad. We need to go to battle ASAP. Let's see if our soldiers are at full capacity. They are. Okay, brilliant. Then what we can do once that bug joins the army and we fuse him is go on attack and try to get some new pheromones. So in case it does rain, we can attract a bug and see if it's something different. Because I've seen scorpions, I've seen bombardier beetles, and I've heard rumor that there's even a flying bug out there. And I want to see what exactly it is and how we could get it. So we need that tiger beetle. And these are the ghost praying mantises. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna fuse these two. Now we've got a 75% chance that it turns to a two, right? What? It failed? Dang. And that's the only real way you lose. We only lost one of them. You don't lose both, but that's rather unfortunate. So it's time to search for a player. We've got full set of soldiers, and it might be time to try to upgrade them using nectar. Okay, so this guy has a value of 1,012. I need to learn what that exactly means. Oh, it's the bombardier beetle. Now let's see if we can't lure him away because I've heard that this is the way to do it. Is he going to shoot his little cannon butt? Guys, oh my God, hold the phone. That was a bad idea. Me trying to, quote, lure that bombardier beetle. Basically, you know what? I'm not giving up this attack. We've already committed our forces and this is probably the hubris you want to avoid in war, but we're not doing it. I've got so many bugs. We're bringing in everything. He killed like 40 something of my bugs. All right, guys, just start the battle. We'll, we have to win. Oh my gosh. Attack that bombardier beetle. I'm down to like five ants alive. Oh God, the soldier's chasing me. Ah! Is he eating me? Okay, good. I have literally have three soldiers left and it's just my bugs doing all the battling, but they are winning. <gasps> I got cannoned. No. Okay. We got one pheromone out of it. So now I have three. Should I, should I continue these attacks? No, 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 no. Don't let him eat me. I died again. Oh, he almost died again. All right, guys, there's like one ant. This is very difficult to do when you have no supporting ants. This is the first time. Needless to say, I went about that. That is entirely my fault. Naturally, I'm the commander of these bugs, right? Right? And I was like, hey, let's lure the cannon beetle. And he just like, oh, you got a cool army of about 50. I'm going to destroy them. Oh, God. Oh, I thought I was getting eaten, but it's it's a tarantula knobbing on one of my manti. We have both the ghost mantis left. All the tarantulas are dead. All the supporting beetles are also dead. All right, boys, I, I can't get attacked. You see, I'm, I'm the leader here. There we go. That's working out. Now clog this lane. And what is what do they have? OK, he's got some ghost beetles. He's got three guys. I need you in there. I, this is literally just all of it. We're, I'm not entirely sure if, I think we could win because I think we have more numbers than them, but this was an absolutely brutal attack. So now my tier two tarantula, all of my tier twos are alive. None of my tier ones. I think I might have one tier one mantis left. Time is up. Oh my goodness. Well, Catalina 57, that cannoneer beetle, I, I don't know its official name, is impressive. So this is what we have to do. It's going to take quite some time to rebuild my army, and I really hope it can start raining soon. But maybe at dawn, we can try to 
to attract another bug. And with that, I'll be able to rebuild my force because I can only send in about 10 to attack anyway. So the queen's hungry. Yeah, we, we, we lost a lot of bugs. I mean, at this point, I only have four soldiers. <laughs> oh gosh, I really just, that is a very, very poor commandeering on my part. But it's one of, it's only the second time I've ever experienced that bug. And that's ultimately what I want to do is I want to get those bugs. Okay, so here we go. It is dusk. Now let's attract a bug and hope it is a new one. Nope, it looks like a tarantula. Boo. Now how many soldiers? Do I even have 10 yet? Oh, I got 18. Fantastic. Well, gentlemen, join me in my army. We're going to deal with some red ants and then we are going to kill and attract a tarantula. So what happens when your whole army is absolutely decimated? Well, you saw it. All right, boys, fight. Use superior numbers to destroy the enemy. Oh, we didn't lose any. Now, do I want to attack them? I don't really want to finish them off if I don't have to, because if I do summon in a pumpkin, it's going to be great to have a very easy red ant nest to destroy. All right, so wait for the reinforced to get here. Send them on the attack and then pull back so the tarantula doesn't lunge at me and kills me, because then my ants don't have a commander and uh, then they'll just retreat and we won't finish the job. Ultimately, getting a tarantula isn't our goal. Where are these new bugs? And then once we get our army up to about 50 again, which it's coming in soon, we will go on the offensive on another ant raid nest. Capture this one and we did pretty good. So let's see, where is it? Increases soldier ants movement speed. That's not the one we want just yet. Soldier ants resilience when fighting, that would be pretty good. Increases worker ants movement speed. That would also be very good. But then here it is. Increases the amount of soldier ants you can recruit. This is probably one of the ones we definitely want. All right, so I think it's time to fuse my two ghost mantas. I'm pretty nervous about this because I only have a 75% chance if I lose them. Whew. I was gonna say, man, that's that that would have been scary. And you can see that I'm blowing through food to get my army back up to size. So one of the things that will make getting more nectar easier is having the increase of soldiers. Now, if I do this absolutely perfectly, if we do not lose one ant, uh, convoy ant. Oh God, oh God, oh God, he's eating me. <laughs> well, it was distracting them. Okay, okay, okay. Let's recruit some more, pull back and then get to automatic. Basically, I need to attack, but not finish them off until until I have all 10 and I'm getting two reinforcements on the way. I actually need three because the more ants I have, the better chance I can protect the convoy. I really hope we can pull this off perfectly. It's not a high probability, but at least it's in the realm of possibility. All right, come, come want to eat me. All right, pull back, pull back, pull back, gentlemen. Now there's only one fire ant left and there's dusk and we do have, but I think we should save that. We need three for rain. I remember in the early parts of the game, I used to see rain all the time and now I never see them. All right, there we go. He went after me, so he was easy to defeat. Now here is the key. Protect the convoy. Look on the mini map. Where are they? There they are. Attacking from the rear. Okay, that was well defended. Now they're attacking from this side. Intercept. Don't, he, he, just, he was biting on the butt. There we go. Oh, that was a very good encirclement. Well, could have been better. <laughs> it can always be better. Attacking from the rear of the convoy. Now where? Another one, another one, another one. Come on, boys, we can do this. We can do this because we need to do this. Oh, he's getting some bug, some bites. Ooh, there we go. We're near the red ant nest. So we're almost home and we have all 10 aphids, which will give us 10 nectar. Please, please, please stay focused. Stay on target. They're attacking from the front. No. Oh, he went from the back. Okay, good. Wow. All right. Here they are on the back, on the back, on the back. It, it really, I guess there's a little RNG. Oh God, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Whew. This is just so tense right now because it'll take quite a while to get more nectar or another aphid farm. We have 10. Oh God, there they are. But luckily the friendly soldiers around the nest are now supporting us. So we should be able to sneak in here without any problem. Oh my God. God, we did it. We freaking did it. Oh my God, we did it. I'm so proud of us. We even got a quest. Conquer Navy Farm five times. Brilliant. I'll take that to the bank, son. Yes. So it's getting updated right now. 18, 19. This will be 25. Please start raining. Now we can get this upgrade. This is actually an upgrade we probably should have gotten earlier. Although worker speed upgrade is pretty nice. Where's that fifth one? There it is. What's this quest? Protect the aphids convoy with no worker casualties. That is the first time we've done it. And we get 25 nectar for that? That is huge. Okay, so this is the one we want. Increase the amount of soldier ants you can recruit. Boom, done. Now, how many soldiers can I get? Is that the ones that are like on me? Oh, I okay, I've got 12 now. I thought it was gonna be a bigger one, like maybe five more. Okay, well, it still counts. That's nice. I think we lost a soldier there, maybe. So we will replace him before we go on an attack. So that should, that should make things easier. And once we have 50 warriors, it's time to attack again. I still have gotten no rain. There's no other random weather effect but it'd be interesting if there was
is maybe snow, but do ants really live where there's snow? I'm sure the answer is yes, they live everywhere, right? But I don't really know. I'm not an antologist, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so this time we're gonna do better. This guy's 1,012 and he's got 105 total ants. That's a sizable contingent. All right, guys, let's get what's really good at dealing. Get the tiger beetles out, our tier two ghost mantis. I generally like to just send everybody out. I don't know if that's like necessarily the best strategy, but I feel like quantity has a quality all its own. All right, so we're gonna fight. Everybody participate, just start eating them. Eat all of them. How many have we, I think I lost an ant. I lost a few, we had 61 and now we have what? So generally if I just hang out here, a lot of ants will be destroyed as they like get in and out of the nest, but I gotta remember the timer. That was one thing I didn't do. Yeah, look at that, they just keep pouring out. So now they're down to 70, they had 105. They just keep pouring out. I think they may have stopped. We gotta take advantage of this precious amount of time. Now where's their bugs? They'll probably just be all guarding the queen, but I think there's a better strategy. Oh, what do they have? I see a lot of tier two stars, but my army is at 45. Okay, that's, <gasps> see, they've got a scorpion. All right, I sent them on an attack and then I and then I pull back. We're expecting to lose probably everybody. I need all my other bugs to support and I need to make sure I don't die. We should win. All of my ants are dead, I think. Is this gonna be another just two star? Oh God, oh God. Are there, their tier twos are kicking mine's butt. That scorpion did some work. My tier two ghost mantis versus a tier two mantis. The one on one fight, it looks like mine has a little bit less health. So it's three bugs versus three bugs. Oh, did I, I died. Time left 30 seconds. Man, we're spending so much food. No, get back in there and fight you fool. He's like, but you're my boss. 18 seconds. I, I don't think we're gonna be able to pull this off. Oh God, yeah, we're not. Well, that is unfortunate. Woo! Get in there. <laughs> Instantly sniped. Another tier two. Okay, time is up. And it's so much food, but we got some nectar out of it. And once again, hey, I sent out an army and they were unsuccessful. And by that, I mean, everybody died. So all that food we've been stockpiling is gonna go back. It's It's been a little bit tough. Wow. If I wanna increase the army size, I have to spend 100 nectar now. That's incredible. So there's some red soldier ants and worker ants over here. This is the one we're gonna go to. Yeah, ambush them. There we go. Well done, well done, gentlemen. Or rather, ants. There's nothing gentle about you. Well, I, I think that's about as far as we're gonna get today. I was hoping for rain, but no rain came. And if I wanna get another pumpkin, I do have to spend premium currency to get it. You only get one per Halloween event, I guess. Which makes sense, but it's sad at the same time. Here's dusk. Well, that'll do it for today's Pocket Ants episode. Let me know your preferred strategies or the best way to get the ultimate and rare bugs, because I would love to know, all right? So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.